Hey everyone, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. I'm glad you're here today. Before I get started with today's magic review, I'm just gonna make a few quick announcements, let you guys know that I am working on some requested magic reviews, as well as some more top five magic reviews that so many of you seem to really enjoy. So today I'm gonna to be taking a look at an effect by Woody Aragon called the EP Principle. This was recently put up by Penguin Magic and it's currently trending in the number one spot. So I decided to pick this up, take a look at it, and see if I could do a review for you guys to help you decide whether or not you really should pick this up. Let's take a look at it. Hi, I'm Woody Aragon and this is the EP Principle. As far as mind reading goes, you'll never find a more fair presentation. I want you to cut a packet, packet less than 20 cards, I don't know, like a quarter or a third, and you put under the table and you count how many. So nobody knows the number, only you know the number. But remember that you can shuffle and cut whatever you want, take some cards under the table, I don't look, and if I look, you can punch me if you want. I'm going to show you the cards, and you need to look and remember and think very strong in the card, in the position of the number that you have. I mean, if you have three cards, you number three. So I will show you one, two. When I show you three, you think in this card. You are thinking a card yeah. from this packet. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to put the packet now on top and square. So now the deck is complete. Square like this, and I have no idea. But I can deal like this, and in fact, uh, I, I have a song. And then the cars in two pipes, and then the cars in two pipes, and then the cars in two pipes, and then the cars in two pipes. At the end, only one car remains. And you throw the car. Can you name for first time the car that you throw? Yeah. Do it. Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. Let's see. Oh my god. No, it is the two of diamond. Completely incredible. Aye. I will explain the trick, I will explain the principle, I will explain the method, but not only that, I will give you multiple effects to use this principle. And the method is so easy that it looks like the other self-working effects are knuckle-busting. Okay, so for $5, what you can expect to get is a 30-minute downloadable instructional where Woody Aragon is going to teach you what he calls the EP principle or equal packets principle. He teaches it to you in the context of his trick called the Alpha and Omega trick, and then he teaches you a couple of other simple applications of it. The ad copy is pretty legit. There's no sleight of hand here. This is self-working magic. Uh, my impressions, uh, I was overall pretty disappointed because Woody Aragon here has committed the cardinal sin of magic, which is to just repackage old magic and sell it to you. Basically, he's taken this principle which has existed for years in all throughout the magic literature, and he's applied it to the tantalizer from the Royal Road to Card Magic and decided to sell it to you. And if that's not bad enough, he actually had put out that effect, the Alpha and Omega trick, as a standalone download on Penguin already beforehand. So he's basically just squeezing out a little more out of this. Um, so the actual principle, if you're interested in it, because he doesn't tell you anything about it, what he calls the EP principle, actually the real name of that principle is called uh, reversing the order of the cards. That's the real name of it as it's been come to known. And if you can get your hands on the book called Card Tricks Anyone Can Do, this was put out by Temple Patton back in 1968. There's a whole chapter on the principle with a bunch of different card effects that you could learn uh, that use it. Um, if you are also interested, I would also recommend you check out Ed Marlowe's work on this in his book, Revolutionary Card Magic. Uh, under the chapter of Pharaoh Notes. There's a whole bunch of stuff about it there, um, as well as if you can get your hands on the old Phoenix Magazine, uh, issue number 329. It was specifically just to Ed Marlowe. That was in like an Ed Marlowe issue. He talks about what he calls the automatic placement, which is basically this principle. Um, goes over some applications of it there as well. 
Um, if you have the jinx like I do, there's actually an effect in the jinx in volume two, uh, which is called Mystic 12, which again, it's another effect that uses this exact same principle. And uh, the best source of this, if you are interested, would probably be Simon Aronson's book, The Aronson Approach. In there, there's an effect that's called self-control, and that effect feels and reads exactly like Woody Aragon's description of the principle. In fact, Woody Aragon, the two main ways he, uh, besides his effect, the alpha and omega trick, the other two ways that he, that he applies it to, uh, like a card at any number, and the idea of spelling to a card, is also found in Simon Aronson's book. So I would recommend you guys just check out Simon Aronson's book, The Aronson Approach, and not bother with this download at all. In terms of the tantalizer, I think that uh, Woody Aragon's uh, version here is very procedure heavy, extremely boring, uh, nothing that you're gonna really perform for real. If you really are interested in the tantalizer, there's lots of different variations out there that exist. I would recommend you just learn it out of the Royal Road to Card Magic. Uh, you may wanna check out the handling that Dennis Beer has on it in his book, um, Handcrafted Card Magic, because in that book, he shows you how you can use a tantalizer to get into your memorized stack. So some people may be interested in that if you do memorized deck work. Another good variation you may wanna take a look at is the Unreal Sessions. Uh, and this was put out by Paul Wilson. Um, and I remember this was like back in 2012, the Unreal Sessions, I think it was episode four, and he gives a variation of the tantalizer there. And it was very interesting because a deck of cards is shuffled up and then he does a couple of pharaohs and he immediately deals it out. And after each deal, he shows that the top card of his packet is an ace, the top card of the spectator's packet is totally different. And then he continues to do the deal. And again, the top card of his packet now is a second ace. And he goes through that four times until uh, finally he exhausts the whole deck. And each time, the top card of his packet is an ace. The last time, of course, he just ends up with one card, which is an ace. Now, my favorite version of the tantalizer, one that I've been using for years, uh, is one from Darwin Ortiz. I can't even remember the name of it because I've been doing it for so long. I don't even remember if I learned it from a video or a book. I'm gonna have to check up on that and uh, I'll leave it in the description for you guys or I'll leave a comment. I'll update this video to give you guys the exact source of it because I've been performing it for years. I don't even remember the name of it I just do it like second nature because it is a version of the tantalizer that is impromptu. Uh, you can get into it from a shuffled deck in use. Um, and it really eliminates a lot of that procedure that you're gonna see here that Woody Aragon does that I would recommend to avoid altogether. Of course, you're not gonna avoid the dealing out procedure, but that being said, it's really quick overall. And in fact, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is a version of the tantalizer effect that was put out by Darwin Ortiz. And um, what I really liked about it was that you took a, a deck that you shuffled, you asked the spectator to take out any card they want. Let them take a look at that. That's our card. And then you, take, you have it returned to the deck like this. You show them the lost condition of the card lost somewhere in the pack. You ask the spectator if they have any idea where that card could be. You say, look, we're gonna give this a little shuffle. So if you thought you knew where it was, now you really don't know where it is. That's the idea, just totally lose it in there. Now you ask them if they're the betting type. You say, look, I got 20 bucks here. Are you the betting type? Would you be willing to bet that your card may be in your half or in my half of the pack? Whatever they say, you remind them that you're using your money <laughs> to bet with, not theirs. So some people may be willing to bet in that circumstance. Um, but you do mention to them that um, it's a fair bet because it's your money, not their money. So you say, you know, what's the chances of the card being in their half or my half? They're going to say 50-50. Is that a bet that they want to take? They may say no. So you say, okay, look, I'll make it a little bit more fair. 
meaning I'm going to give you a few more cards than I have here. So again, you go through the procedure here of dealing it out, and you mention to them that, so now you have a few more cards, is that fair? Are you willing to take that bet now? They may say yes, they may say no, so then you tell them, okay, look, what if I were to give you just a few more cards then, just to really make this fair? Is, would you then take that bet? And they may say, yes, say, you know what, how about just a few more, because maybe it's not fair yet. And you know what, maybe just a few more. Now I think it's really fair, because now you have this half, and I have my half. What do you want to bet on? Of course, they're going to probably want to keep the money there. You ask them what their card was, they tell you, and you show them that the one card you have is their card. So this is the handling I prefer of the tantalizer. I thought I would share it with you guys. I hope you found that informative. So that's pretty much what you guys can expect to find here on this download. I'll tell you guys that I don't think it's worth it. My overall rating would be like one out of five. Um, I don't think that Woody Aragon should have even put this out. I don't think it adds anything to the magic that already exists in the literature. Um, magic that already exists out there. I think it just muddies the waters and I think that unfortunately these guys are just out there trying to make money. Hopefully I've saved you guys a couple of bucks today. Uh, as always, if there's any magic you want me to review, please just leave me a comment below. Thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you on the next review.